clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. This is 8K. How did they get to it? 8K. Another gameplay reveal event, another week of PlayStation fanboys being absolutely toxic. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. I don't even know what to call this series, but it's been what people like me covering the most. I don't know if it's because they genuinely find the stuff enjoyable, or if they just like to see me suffer and slowly deteriorate. It's like I'm some kind of experiment for them. They want to see how far they can push a human. You're some sick motherfuckers. But whatever, we'll call it caught an 8k so ratchet and clank rift apart looks nice doesn't it you can see the ray tracing and the lovely 30 fps being displayed right before you i have yet to actually see 60 fps footage of that because every single dumbass youtube channel that uploads footage for some fucking reason hasn't uploaded any footage in 60 fps they did the same shit with returnal if there's anybody who pisses me off on youtube more than peasants and fanboys it's the goddamn youtubers who can't be bothered to upload in 60 fps especially when you're a channel with funding in the millions. Meanwhile, the only thing funding my channel is a few bags of weed. So of course, any bit of footage is something PlayStation fanboys would run along with. PlayStation has those next-gen looking games. Xbox don't got shit. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo doesn't. You know, the usual. You know, there were like those kids at school who you didn't want to sit at lunch with, but now they're grown up and you still don't want to sit at lunch with them. Some of them are still dressed the same too. I mean, you gotta hand it to them. Ratchet and Clank does look nice. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, but we have to talk about Rivet. Yes, she is absolutely adorable and I want to pet the shit out of her, but simply admiring how adorable she is is all you are allowed to do. If I see anything other than that, I'm gonna load my shotgun up. I just want to talk to him. Wait. Why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk. But yeah, it looks nice. It's not exactly the type of game that I would sell myself out on the street for to afford a PS5 just to play it. My standards aren't that low. I'll just wait for the PC port. You know, but that's the thing about PlayStation fanboys that separates them from PlayStation fans. PlayStation fans will look at this and they'll admire the footage and they can't wait and they get excited. You know, they'll do some cringy things like pre-order, but it's not that bad. The PlayStation fanboys, however, they can't simply enjoy it. They have to use it to trash Xbox because at the end of the day, they enjoy doing that more than playing video games. I mean, you've watched enough of my videos to know this is basically true because 343 released some new screenshots of the updated version of Halo Infinite and it looked a bit better, you know? I haven't expected Halo to be a graphical showcase in a long time. This poor series has gone through way too many studios. It's not what I will call a graphically bad looking game. It definitely looks better than it did a year ago, but it's not exactly screaming next gen. I mean, I don't really care. Because as it is, I have way too many games that I haven't even gotten to yet. I'll probably play this shit three years later, like I do with every big release. Typical PC cuck. Not a day one supporter. So PlayStation fanboys don't want Xbox fanboys to have anything good. I've come to this conclusion because anytime there is any post from Xbox, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, there are PlayStation fanboys there to remind them that they suck and that PlayStation is better and that they have no games and that they're a failing company. And you'd think you'd see the equal amount on the other side, but I don't see Xbox fanboys doing that anywhere near as much. These days I see Xbox guys avoiding trying to comment on anything because a PlayStation fanboy will show up just to tell them that they suck. Honestly, the whole situation is hilarious to me. They take each other way too serious, but the PlayStation fanboys, they just take it a little too serious. Amazing time to be an Xbox owner, especially with Game Pass, with so many great games coming and being able to play them all without paying $70 for only one game as the only possible option. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. She set herself up for that one. I mean, she's the one who's basically throwing a little bit of shade. But I mean, it's true. You know, you gotta pay $70 to play these PlayStation games. So you better hope they're good. But the way that was tweeted, the way she sprinkled that into the pond, you knew the PlayStation fanboys were gonna swim up and nibble that. Craig just gave me some of the crack y'all smoking now. I know why 90% of Xbox are delusional. A dope fiend refers to the reefer butt as a roach because it resembles a cockroach. What the 
the fuck? Do PlayStation fanboys not know what crack looks like? That's a fucking blunt. Dear God. See, sometimes I wish people actually took drugs so that they didn't look like dumbasses talking about them. I mean, take them and then hate them later or take them and become a lunatic like me. Remember you crying because I shown you this image and you were happy because someone shared photo mode images of The Last of Us 2 that has nothing to do with the gameplay? God, I don't know these two. I don't know much about their conversations. I just know where they stand on the fanboy compass. Well, here you are still sharing that same old image when there are lots of newer images but you don't share those. Salty hypocrite. Literally looks like trash. Even Far Cry 5 makes Garbage Halo Infinite look two generations late. See, I can also do the same with Ratchet and Clank. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, this is cringe between both of them. How old are you? 30? 40? Don't you have some friends your own age? Someone to drink with? Maybe a girlfriend? These two are arguing about video games they don't even have yet or get to play yet. Like, come on, why are you wasting your time with this shit? But then again, it is typical of the PlayStation fanboy to be the first one to start any argument about graphics. Which is fucking bullshit because that should be the job of us PC cucks. We're supposed to be the graphics whores. Since when do PlayStation fanboys get to start bragging about performance and graphics? Whatever, I guess their whole goal was to dethrone the PC master race as the most toxic community. I miss when we were the most hated. Shit was a lot more fun. Try using actual screenshots next time and not a screenshot of the 144p video running on pager you mean like you did here you hypocrite <laughs> oh shit <laughs> boy you got ratioed the fuck out how do you do that how do you get caught in 8k how do you forget what you posted not even a few seconds ago from the start, he wanted to do the graphical comparison. He wanted to use a dishonest image zoomed in, and now he's complaining that other people are doing it and doesn't realize why the fuck he's getting called out for it. Amazing. But that's typical of a PlayStation fanboy. They're a little too slow to realize anything. Maybe that's why Sony got them super fast SSDs. Speed things up for them a bit. Don't you just love it how you can use a PlayStation fanboy's dirty tactics on them and they don't even realize it. They'll call you stupid, dumb, porn out how illogical the argument is without realizing that it's basically a repackaged version of what they usually say. Congratulations, you took the bait and in a desperate attempt to try and turn it around into a troll, you got ratioed the fuck out. This boy's eyes went rolling right back into his cranium. He was done after that silence, blown the fuck out. I don't know what she did, but Jack the Ripper has been trying to get that revenge on her since she ratioed the fuck out of him. PlayStation fanboys be desperate for that dub. I don't know what they're doing on Twitter, spending all their time trying to get into arguments with girls about graphics when they should just be playing Returnal. I mean, it's worth $70, right? They should all be busy playing Returnal, but instead they're playing Twitter. Nothing is new here. They can't even enjoy what they have for five minutes without turning it into a fanboy war. Well, it seems part of the reason they're not enjoying Returnal is because there's quite a few crashes going on for people. Bit of a buggy launch. Yeah, imagine paying $70 for a buggy launch like that. Hey, it's what they wanted. They said $70 would equate to quality. So there was a few people out there who were not happy with the state of the game at launch because they're having a lot of crashing and they're losing progress. And so they're voicing this in the user reviews on Metacritic. But the PlayStation fanboys cannot accept that. They refuse to believe that the game has flaws, that maybe it's not in the best shape right now. So what do they do? They try to pin this on Xbox fanboys review bombing. Good score, but I see the bots have come out from playing Second Extinction to do their favorite pastime, review bomb PlayStation games. This is what doctors term an atypical child. Perhaps this might clarify it better. He is retarded. They've lost their goddamn minds. They're not getting those back-to-back 90-plus -back Metacritic games. But it couldn't possibly be that maybe everything Sony puts out isn't perfect. No, of course not. This is the work of Xbox at play. Let's see. A zero. Stupid game, corrupted frame rate, so many bugs, not worth $70 at all should be $20. No save and dying during the third act makes this game in the way it's not enjoyable. Good gameplay and graphics though. El juego es bastante aburrido. Después de jugarlo varias horas, se vuelve repetitivo. 
This game should not be priced at $70. It isn't on the same value as, say, Red Dead Redemption. I don't see how you could look at these reviews and then think to yourself, yes, it's Xbox. It must be them. It couldn't be any other PlayStation owner who's just voicing their opinion on the game. We have to blame the Xbox. You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You can turn to other reliable reviewers, and there's a similar sentiment. Okay, Fuck Returnal was three hours into a run, had a great build, heading towards the fifth of six boss fights, looking like I'll beat the game, and it crashed. And given the game doesn't save or have a system in place for if it crashes, I lost all that progress, Fuck that. Pre and post patched Returnal is a bit different, but not hugely. Sadly, still got four crashes today as well. Had an amazing two hour long run on in Returnal. I reached level six and the PS5 said nope and hard crashed and I lost everything. Fucking ridiculous. But no, the PlayStation fanboys still want to believe in their own minds that those user reviews are dishonest. Oh my god, I'm done. I have nothing else to say about this. It's funny as it is. If I add any more to it, it'll just get cringe. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you so choose to. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Every tongue sucks ass.